China has a water problem. Specifically, there's not enough of it. China, like the US, Europe, and pretty much the rest of Earth's northern hemisphere, is seeing record high temperatures and very little rain. The worst is in the country's southern region, where hydroelectric power provides most of the electricity to millions of people and thousands of manufacturing plants. Receding water in the Yangtze River isn't just revealing centuries-old statues, it's also hampering the movement of goods because large ships can't sail in shallow waters. Some reservoirs that supply power stations are also dry. China could produce more electricity through coal or nuclear power plants, but those still require water. Most farms in China are smaller, just a few acres, which means most farmers can't afford things like drip irrigation systems to conserve water. Thousands of acres of crops have already been deemed total losses this year. China is a global supplier of food, construction materials, electronic components, solar panels, and so much more. So if the drought in China continues, the global fallout could be disastrous. Some experts say the supply chain issues we faced during COVID will be tame by comparison. To combat the deepening drought, China is firing silver iodide into clouds in an effort to induce rain. It's a process known as cloud seeding. Crews are also digging trenches to keep water flowing from China's biggest freshwater lake to rice growing regions. China's president, Xi Jinping, wants to give himself another five years in office, and he'll be in a better position to do that if his people aren't baking in the heat or starving from lack of food. At least five of China's 17 dynasties were brought down by drought-induced famines.